My name is Rene Redzepi. I am 33 years old from Copenhagen, Denmark, and I'm the head chef of a restaurant Noma. Well, my upbringing had, I realized after I became a chef, quite a big impact on my choosing uh, my profession. And as a child, I, I don't re remember going to, to supermarkets or stuff like that uh, in Macedonia. You traded with neighbors or you grew your own food. And I can see that now, of course, since I came to be a chef, that uh, that must have been a huge inspiration. So this room here is uh, our kitchen studio. Tolsten, uh, who is there, looking very concentrated. We worked together for many, many years, and he's in charge here. Uh, but this is where we usually work on all the the new ideas, uh, the day-to-day -day changes in the kitchen. Ah, oh, it's amazing. He's a brilliant person to work with. I think the team, him and I, and some of the others, is very, very strong. And uh, I think we understand each other very well. But our main focus here is this kitchen. And this is, a, for me, it's a dream come true. So in this room, we also have the staff quarters, which is here. As you see, this is where the staff together eats uh, supper. We're all together. Which is quite important for me that because we spend so many hours here that, that it has to feel right. Yes, uh, my name is Matt Orlando, uh, head chef at Noma. Been here about three years in total at two different times. Working at Noma means being a part of something that is that is new, um, that is fresh, um, that's exciting. Um, it's something that um, not everybody in the world gets to be a part of. Um, not only from a uh, working standpoint, but from the products we use and the people we work with. Working here, you're in an environment that you're just surrounded by people from around the world who've worked at very good restaurants here and there. And so that wealth of knowledge is, is amazing. That when people eat the food that they feel the history but also is taking a part of shaping our future. Sometimes there's an idea, a, a simple thought, which uh, two hours later is a delicious dish. Uh, no complications. Other times you have a certain type of concept or a very specific uh, idea for it and, and you work towards this uh, ideal uh, for weeks and weeks or maybe months sometimes. Working with Rene is extremely challenging um, in the sense that he, he constantly pushes you. You think, you think that okay we've, we've come to this point um, okay this dish is amazing or the kitchen is organized in an amazing way, but then you, you sit down, you talk about it, and you, figure, you, you realize that, okay, you've made it here, but now you need to go here, farther. So I think that's the biggest, uh, the biggest perk about working for Renee. You're constantly pushing, 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 and it rubs off on everyone. everyone. Everyone in the kitchen will, they'll question each other on, is that good enough? Is that, and I think that really comes, that stems from Renee. Well, the Matt uh, Symposium, for me, was, uh, was just a platform for, for us, the chefs, to, to learn new things. Um, the idea was that it, it was uh, by chefs for chefs. And also because uh, you know, I wanted a, a forum where we, where we were there, the chefs are there to inspire each other. I mean, it's one of the proudest moments of my professional career, was achieving that because it's, it, was, it was really, really difficult. You know, I mean, honestly, it took, it, it was, it was more difficult to get that off the, the ground than it was to initially open Noma. On the other hand, I guess, I mean, if there is a message from Noma, it is that, you know, great food that somehow has a presence in the whatever given culture uh, you are in can happen anywhere. The idea initially was just let's see what happens if we use local products, which is, of course, quite common. It happens all over the world. So that was the initial idea. And then I thought, well, you know, maybe I'll just take what I know, uh, the French cuisine, the Spanish cuisine, these type of ideas of food and the recipes and just replace with the local ingredients. And then I thought that maybe somehow we would make it local as well. It would make it taste as if it belonged here, as if it was a part of our culture. And of course it didn't. 
So then, you know, realizing that um, a whole new level of um, research started, I found my inspiration. Thinking, uh, reflecting on what has happened here, that when we started we were 11 people in the whole Noma, front, back of the house, everywhere. Now we're uh, almost 50 in the kitchen uh, from 17 nationalities. So the main service kitchen, uh, it's actually not as large as you would expect at a kitchen of this caliber. The way this kitchen is unique to where I've worked in the past is that everyone in this kitchen can do everything. If you were to stand right here for the whole service, you would see the entire team moving around in a pack. For a chef to prepare the food in the morning, plate it, take it to the dining room and see that instant reaction from the guest, is you, you can't put a price on that. There's constantly things to change. There's constantly things you're unhappy with. There's, there's uh, you know, the more success, the more work. You're constantly working. There is, of course, there's so much demand of my time, but we try to organize, it, organize our, our, um, our way out of it. So, so that our focus is kept on the ball, so to speak. And of course, that is the cooking, which uh, all this fame and everything is, is, is brought to us by the cooking that we do, and that's what I want to do, that's what I enjoy. Uh, ultimately, this is, is my sanctuary as well, to, to carve out a dead animal, uh, or fillet a fish, or chop an onion. Um, we together have just lifted this place up into, to some, into a place that I never ever envisioned, thought could be possible. Um, it's just mind-boggling, really, to think of what has happened here in just almost eight years now. And this is actually a dish we have on the menu. Bacon, cabbage and seaweed is maybe new classic. Here we can actually present it as nature had. Sometimes we don't know what we're searching for because we're actually developing a kitchen here.